A very happy day to all of you and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your learning partner, Sushila Hariharan. In this video, we're going to take a look at DVR or stocks which have a differential voting rights. DVR stands for differential voting rights. Let's take a look at what does DVR mean and how do we calculate the dividend yields for common stock. Equity means proportionate ownership. Proportionate ownership. An equity owner is a part owner of the company's assets. Therefore, like every business owner, an equity owner also runs the risk of losses of the business. If you take a look at the Kirana store at the roadside, you will understand that the, Kiran, the running the business of the Kirana store is also a part of the equity understanding in the sense that if the business runs losses then the owner of the business also runs losses therefore the equity owner assumes the risk in the equity investments what do i mean by that every time the business does not declare dividends or the companies don't declare interesting corporate actions like bonuses and stock splits then the shareholders get agitated and they run the risk of the ownership of equity investment. Equity has these three characteristics that is there is no assured return by the issuer. The issuer that is the company that issues the equity can decide whether they want to give dividends. They can also decide when they want to give dividends. give dividends. They can also decide how much dividends to give. So everything is determined by the issuer. Of course shareholder approval is needed but that is at a later stage. Equity has no redemption date and equity also has no statutory monetary obligation. There are a few non-monetary obligations that are applicable to equity uh, issuers which is why common stock is different from stock with differential voting rights. Let's take a look at types of equity. The equity types are of three categories. The first one is common stock, the one that we are most familiar with uh, and almost 98% of all the stocks that are issued on the that are listed on the National Stock Exchange are of the category called as common stock. The second one is DVR, differential voting rights, and the third type is ADR, that's the American Depository Receipts. ADRs are listed on the New York Stock Exchange, and we have a few companies in India like ICICI Bank and Infosys, which have uh, both common stock listed in India in rupees and ADRs listed in dollars on New York Stock Exchange. I have already uploaded a video on ADRs, the link of which is shared below in the comment section. Common stock is also called as share capital. Common stockholder has voting rights as one stock is equal to one vote. So if I'm a shareholder of 1000 shares, 1000 stocks of a particular company, then my vote is equivalent to 1000 votes of that particular AGM or that particular event. The par value of common stock differs from stock to stock and is determined by Securities Exchange Board of India that is SEBI and the par value determines the dividend payouts. Dividends are declared as a percentage of par value. So if you have to calculate your dividend entitlements then you need to know both the par value as well as the dividend that is the dividend percentage rate. Let's take a look at DVRs or differential voting rights. Differential voting rights are stocks where the voting right is not parity. Parity means one DVR is equal to one vote. But in the case of DVR, one DVR is not equal to one vote. Multiple DVRs equals to one vote. Therefore, at an AGM, the voting power of a DVR holder is much reduced compared to a common stockholder. This is the most critical point in understanding the differences between a DVR and a common stock. So in the United States, they have different types of stocks like class A, class B, class C stocks. In India, we have common stock and DVRs. So voting right in the case of DVR is one vote is not equivalent to one DVR. 
okay so the voting ability of the dvr holder is very much compromised in the case of dvrs dvr stocks therefore have a different market price compared to common stock this is the main distinction that is if you look at companies like tata motors they have both common stock listed as well as dvrs are listed which price would be higher would the price of common stock be higher or would the price of dvr holders be higher obviously the price of dvr stock will be lower <laughs> okay because the voting rights are much reduced for dvrs compared to common stock let's take an example the best way to understand how dvrs work or how any financial concept works is by looking at prices by looking at facts by looking at case studies or examples and of which there are umpteen available uh, around us okay so theory is always best theoretical knowledge is always best augmented with practical examples there are only four companies on nse that have dvrs listed okay so i have picked up one of them which is tata motors and tata motors street lingo is tamo okay uh, obviously since we are in the uh, era of Uh, you know giving acronyms to everything we said okay let us give an acronym to tata motors also called as tamo tamo dvr voting rights is 10 dvrs is equal to one vote so let's look at this there are two situations tamo common stock where one dv one stock is equal to one vote but in dvr case 10 dvr is equal to one vote so obviously which price will be higher obviously the price of tata motors stock will be higher compared to the dvr okay because the dvr holder is having much reduced voting rights one tenth the voting rights compared to common stock holders so for compromising 190% of his voting rights obviously the then how obviously the dvr holder needs to be compensated right by something if they don't get that compensation why will they invest in the uh, dvr they will not invest in the dvr therefore to make the dvr interesting for investors what do companies do let's take a look so what is the catch the catch is in the dividends that are paid so the shareholders and the dvr holders get different dividends okay who will be paid more dividends as of now the dvr holders are paid more dividends so that people invest in the dvr okay there is some kind of compensation given to the dvr holders for their reduced voting powers and therefore the catch is in the dividends paid tata motors dividend let's say is 20 rupees per share tata motors dvr dividend is 21 rupees per share this is 2019 data okay now if you look at it you say okay the dvr holder is already getting only 1 10th of the voting rights hmm the dividend is also only 1 rupee more this doesn't make any sense so then the dvr holders are calculating something called as dividend yields okay which according to you has a higher dividend yield would it be tata motors stock which gives a higher dividend yield or would it be tata motors div dvr which gives a higher dividend yield let's take a look at that tata motors dividend is 20 rupees this is for the common stock the market price is 472 the yield that is calculated is 20 divided by 472 that is the yield 4.25% now let's take a look at what is the dvr yield the dividend is 21 rupees the market price is 233 rupees now look at it even though the dividend is only 1 rupee more in the case of dvr the market price is almost half therefore the yield over here is almost double in fact more than double okay the yield over here now works out to 9.01% so there are many investors who seek high dividend yields okay why because they are able to generate a greater return on their overall portfolio 
Therefore, even though the dividend difference between a DVR and a common stock is only 1 rupee, the dividend yield in the case of the DVR is double that of the common stock. Therefore, this can be linked even to the yield calculations of bonds which has been a video which has already been uploaded so that the yield calculations are the same. That is, if you buy some uh, asset at a lower price, the yields will be higher. Okay, so this difference in the yield, double dividend yield is, this difference in yield is what entices investors to invest in the DVR. Okay, thank you so much for listening into this video. If you have any queries, please post in the comments box. My content team is always there ready to listen to you and to your uh, requests. So please hit the like button, share the channel with your friends and subscribe. Thank you so much and uploading another video tomorrow on understanding the Reliance Industries bond issue. Thank you very much.